Over 2,000 Singaporeans who are taking part-time degree or diploma courses will get more financial help from the next academic year as the country moves to make higher education more affordable. Now, they could get nearly $1,200 more in bursaries depending on factors like household income. Now, this will cost the government an estimated $2.8 million each year. That's up from $1.8 million currently. Deborah Wong tells us more. For the past four years, Zulfahan, who works as a technical officer, has been juggling his job, family commitments and school. He's taking a part-time engineering degree that costs up to $7,000 each year. And while he gets $1,350 annually under the MOE bursary, the father of two feels financially stretched. I need uh, the money to, to support my two uh, younger children, to support my wife and my father. I want to learn new, new skill sets, um, new knowledge. So um, having this set also, it will further upgrade myself to become an engineer. I believe in the, uh, in the long run, it will benefit me and my, my family. But Zul will be able to breathe easier from the next academic year. Bursaries for part-time students will be enhanced, so those like Zul with a gross monthly household income of $4,000 and below will get the most help. Undergraduates will receive $2,500 a year, up from $1,350, while diploma students will get $800, up from $600. Households in the next income tier, earning up to $6,900, will receive between $60 and $250 more. School Administrator Tan Ling Ling, who's currently taking a diploma in business practice, says the increment will ease the stress a little. Me and my husband earn for the living for total eight members in the family. So, and plus my second son just recovered from the cancer. This bursary helped me in my future in long term wise because if I just short of the career, I will able to get higher pay. If I get higher pay, I can able to support my family. The 46-year-old is even keen on gunning for a degree in the near future to improve her career prospects. Tertiary students taking full-time courses will also receive enhanced bursaries from the next academic year.